This video was brought to you by stntrading.eu. They enhance your trading experience by offering extremely fast automated trading services for both TF2 and CSGO. Check them out in the description below. Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So today I'm going to be doing a video about what hats I think should actually go all class, or at least multi-class anyway. So I've been thinking about this a lot and there was a time in TF2 where a bunch of hats were being made all class and turned into misks and stuff like that and it affected the unusual market a lot. If you were a trader it mattered much more than if you just played the game normally but I was thinking what well, hats would actually look good that in all class that aren't already all class. So I asked you guys on Twitter and on my Steam group I think, maybe not my Steam group, I might have lied there, but I asked you guys there to see kind of what you guys thought as well and let's get right into that. And thank you so much for those on Twitter that did give me responses. The first hat that you guys suggested was the Dragonborn helmet. Now, honestly, I really think this hat should go all class, mainly because it is like a Skyrim hat, and a lot of people don't want to just play heavy to have to wear this awesome helmet. And the fact that it's got loads of unusual forms already, there's a bunch of effects on it already, it would be insane to see that on a bunch of other classes. And, you know, there's already pictures of the Scout wearing it. So, I mean, I wish it just was a thing. Next up we have the Team Captain. Now this hat is technically already a multi-class hat. You can wear it for the Soldier, the Heavy and the Medic. But I think it would actually look awesome on the Scout, the Sniper and a bunch of other classes. Maybe even the Spy. And the fact that this thing is the most expensive and usual right now. Or at least matched with the Killer Exclusive or whatever. This hat would be insane if it went all class. Like just imagine how expensive the Burning one would be. But it would look awesome on every other class, so I think it'd be worth it. Well, I wouldn't buy one, but I mean, it'd be worth it to make the price go up that much to make it look awesome on every class. I don't know if that, that made sense. Probably not, but okay. The next hat I think should go all class is the Villain's Veil. Now, mainly because we don't really have much choice when it comes to this bandana type cosmetic in TF2. I mean, we obviously have the Bruiser's bandana, but honestly, that's not enough anymore. I mean, it used to be enough, but now it's not. I want more choice. I think other people want more choice. So, the Villain's Veil should just go all class. And once again, I don't want to keep coming back to the unusuals, but there's so many different effects on this hat already. It would just be so easy to just use it on every class. Now this hat is probably the hat I am the least certain about on this list and that is the La Party Phantom. Now a bunch of you guys suggested this to me on Twitter and honestly I didn't really like the idea of it. I mean I guess you could use it as like one of those hidden cosmetics under a bunch of other hats that you're wearing for the class just to get the unusual effect if you had one but honestly it'd be one of those that will only work on a few other classes so I doubt if they ever changed the La Party Phantom, it wouldn't go to every single class. Maybe just like a couple that, you know, you could easily hide it on. I guess it's more designed for the spy though, as it is a spy hat. And it, that might not translate well. And the final cosmetic I want to have all class is the Burly Beast. Now, honestly, this thing is amazing. Like, a bunch of people love this cosmetic. Loads of people use it. And I just wish it wasn't just for Medic, because as, as the same kind of thing with the Dragonborn helmet, a lot of people don't want to play Medic to have to wear a cosmetic. I know Chloe Mew has done a drawing of the soldier wearing the Burly Beast, and honestly it looks really, really cool. I mean, on some classes maybe it won't look as good. I mean, you could put it on the Heavy fairly easily and it would look good. Maybe not on the Scout, because that would be... I don't, I don't know, I don't think that would work as well. But it would just be awesome to see it available on a bunch of other classes rather than just the medic. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I want to start working more on these top five lists and making them better. Because I've realized a lot with my recent content that you guys just aren't enjoying it as much. I made a video about my motivation and the fact that I am really, really motivated right now to do my best. And honestly, I haven't made a, like a proper video or a proper couple of videos since then. Mainly because I had a theory test that was supposed to happen on Tuesday. So I didn't upload on Monday because I was revising for it. Then on Tuesday, I I missed it. I didn't have a chance to record a video because I was at my theory test, which never happened. And then Wednesday, I had a day off and I was at my dad's anyway, so I couldn't record. And on Thursday, I did work on the video until midnight. 
and then I decided to call it quits because I was so tired and now we're here I mean I'm so sorry for a week of no videos like I know a lot of you probably didn't notice but I know it's it's something that annoys me and it's something that I want to you know work on I want to get a video a day and I want to try and do my best every single day with videos and stuff like that so I hope you guys did like the fact that the SFMs are actually back in this series mainly because like I was lazy I got really really lazy at the end of like all these other series and all the videos that I've done kind of not really recently because I've tried to step it up again but in my other top five lists I just didn't really put SFMs in I just put pictures in and I want to stop doing that and get back into doing SFMs because it just makes the video so much better so anyway I hope you guys did enjoy it I hope you guys did enjoy the fact that the SFMs are back and honestly if you find anything else in my content that you want me to improve please let me know it would help me so much because I just want to make the best content for you guys and that is my ultimate goal that's what I want to achieve and I hope I can do that so anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.